simple choke and I've demonstrated on uh, uh, who wants the volunteer? Who wants the volunteer? Uh, Chris or uh, uh, Dan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so you sit down. And then she's going to show you what happens if you don't have to spin around so they can see. You'll be pulling a funny face because this is on camera. No worries. Uh, Ching. Sure. Oh. So you want to do is you get your hooks in. Mm -hmm. So you can try where they go. You got your harness. Mm -hmm. And then down. For this choke, you want your elbow directly under their chin. So you come across like that. You grab your bicep on this hand. And you grab your shoulder. And what you need to do is don't think about just squeezing the shit out of them. Try to bring your elbows down to your hips. So you come across, uh, as soon as you feel the pressure, you just hit. Excellent. So that's, all it is. that's a good submission too. Um, just that's that's real, that's that's real feel. <laughs> so now I'll show you what happens if you don't pass. Yeah. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to pass you out. That's right. She's going to pass me out. Yeah. Blood right. pressure will rise through his brain. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. You don't cut yeah. the windpipe, you actually cut it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The bone is in front to protect you. Yeah. That's all it is. Alright, so sit down and get your hooks. Your uh, bench. I don't know. Uh, hooks position. Uh, let me speak first. The harness. Uh, it's basically this joke works by cutting off your carotid arteries. That stops the blood going to your head. And what happens is, when your brain starts to realise there's no blood coming to your head, it stops pushing all the blood to your body and just focuses on pushing it to your head. And when that can't happen, it completely shuts down. What happens is, you black out. As soon as they let go, what happens is, there's a two or three second gap, and then the blood starts to furiously pump up back up to your head and get you conscious again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my arm in the air, let her choke me. As soon as my arm drops, that means that it's already stopped pushing to my head and it's going to be about half a second before it passes me out. So as soon as my arm drops, you let go. Okay. Uh, you, uh, don't forget the let go part. Cause, you know, yeah, don't forget the let go part. Don't forget oh. the let go. Uh, elbow under the chin. Do you have that's what As you can see, guys, there's none of this was fake. The footage you've seen was reenacted. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't do that, too. Don't try that at home. You slowly fade out. As you can tell, I'm back on it. Because I couldn't hold myself up. No blood going on my body. And then you pass out. And it's a long time. Can this be done quickly, you think? Or is uh, it yeah. more? Okay. Yeah, I, uh, like, I more pressure. There we go. <laughs> and, and I was seeing people choke out in 30. Oh, yeah, that's because yeah, most of them gradually. Better circulation, yeah, pumping yeah. blood yeah. through. I was like, I don't want to put it on very hard. Oh. It's still enough to stop the blood. Hmm.